Uh, well, this is the time of year for fun in the sun, but all that time outdoors can actually increase the risk of contracting a potentially deadly disease. The end of spring and the beginning of summer is the most active time of the year for Lyme disease cases. And here to educate us on Lyme disease dangers and prevention is Christine Mount, a certified physician assistant with Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, thank you for having me. Okay, Christine, Lyme disease, it sounds really scary, but it's completely preventable. It's very preventable. Mm -hmm. I don't know if completely preventable, but it's very preventable and it's very easily treated if taken a, if certain precautions are taken. Right. So one of the things people get Lyme disease through ticks, correct? Yes. So if your kids are outside playing in the woods, what is the one thing that you can do every day to try to prevent Lyme disease? The best thing you can do is check every day for ticks on the body. Mm -hmm. In order for people to contract Lyme disease, they have to have been, the tick has to have been on their body for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So if every day you check routinely, and it's a good body check in the armpits, in the scalp of the hair, in the groin, make sure that there are no ticks on them, then you know that the tick was not on them for 24 hours oh, the next I day. I can't even watch. We're showing video of a tick there. I mean, these are small, so you have to really be thorough. They're very small. You have to be very thorough. And people say, oh, you know, I have a freckle here. I'll never see it. You get to know your body. If you look at it regularly, if you look at your children's body regularly, you will be able to identify. And are we talking about what, in big major wooded areas or if they're just at camp or out at the park? In general, they say wooded areas our area though is very endemic with this. The southeast Philadelphia and New Jersey have a high population of deer tick due to our deer population. Mm. So in this area, even playing in our backyard, I would check on a daily basis. All right. Now there are some things that we can look for if we happen to miss a tick. Uh, there is a distinctive rash that comes to, for some people right. who are affected with Lyme disease. We call it a bullseye rash. Mm -hmm. It starts off as a red spot, but as it gets bigger, the area becomes clear. Wow. So. Right, that's a very, very classic rash. You can see the rings that happen. About 80% of people with Lyme disease will have a rash of some sort. And so what do you do? You see a rash, if go you immediately to the doctor. Yes, if you see a rash that's like that at all, if you have the potential to have been exposed to a tick, you should go right away to see your health care provider. And so at what stage are you at? When, when you see that bullseye rash or some sort of rash, what right. stage are you that's in? That's considered stage one. Mm -hmm. So that's very early. You have a very good chance if you follow the treatment appropriately that you'll be just fine. All right. And so one thing I do want to tell people too, you say that if you do see a tick, and uh, there's a certain way to remove it, right? Yes. We've all heard the lore that you should put a hot match to it, that you should put Vaseline on it first That's or nail polish remover, and you should absolutely not. What do you do? The bacteria is kind of inside the tick, so if you upset it before you take it off, it's more likely to regurgitate the bacteria into you. So you should take a tweezer, put it as close to your skin as possible on the tick, and just pull in one smooth motion. After that, the next most important step is to wash it with soap and water. Mm -hmm. Don't panic. I'm already panicking. Don't panic. I'm like, my heart is beating <laughs> fast right now listening to no, this. No, if you just take the tweezer, pull it off one smooth motion, you don't have to go digging if there are little parts left in there. Soap and water twice a day. And you hold on to that tick, right? That's controversial. A lot of places do not test the tick any longer. Mm -hmm. So what they do is if some healthcare providers will say, yes, it looks like a deer tick. No, it doesn't. Some will say they don't want to see it. There are some states that will test the tick but it's becoming less and less common because if you've had it for less than 24 hours, they tell you just to watch. Mm -hmm. If it's greater than 24 hours, it's definitely a deer tick. That's up to the healthcare provider to determine whether to start treatment or to do blood tests to see if you could have been exposed. Okay, it. such important information for parents. Now, how did you get your information? Uh, uh, from medical textbooks, from the CDC <laughs> Centers for Disease Control. Yes. Has a huge area about Lyme disease. Were you a student of the Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine? I wasn't a student there. I'm an assistant professor in their physician assistant program there. And that's currently. really, that's, that's a pretty popular program right now, isn't it? It is. It's a very popular program. How long is the physician's assistant program? At PCOM, it's 26 months. Okay. After your bachelor's degree, so you have to come in with a bachelor's degree. It's interesting because a lot of people are looking for ways to educate themselves, maybe to make themselves more marketable in the job market. Physicians' assistants, that's wide open right Absolutely. now. Job security. Wide open right now. It's rated one of the top jobs in uh, U.S. job reports. Love it. It's, yes, it's an excellent profession. Well, you moment. guys are right across the street, and I know you're having an open house for people who may be interested. We are. The open house is Thursday mm -hmm. from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m at Evans Hall. There you can learn all about the graduate programs at PCOM. Thank you so much for being here. That was great information. Thank you. Christine Mount.
Watch out for the ticks. <laughs> Every day do a check. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. Thank you. We're back with more of the 10 show.